And speaking moments after he was unanimously nominated as the new UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres has expressed his gratitude and commended the unity shown by the United Nations Security Council. I was moved when I saw the Security Council able to decide in unity and consensus and to decide in a very quick way. And I hope this represents a symbolic moment, a moment in which the Security Council enhances its capacity to act in unity and consensus, created the conditions to decide uh, timely in relation to the dramatic problems of our time. Gratitude, but also humility. Humility when facing the dramatic problems of today's world, and humility that is needed to serve, and especially to serve those that are most vulnerable, the victims of conflict, of terrorism, the victims of the violation of rights, the victims of poverty and the injustices of this world. Well, let's get more details now on that uh, nomination. And CCTV's Nick Harper is joining me live from the UN headquarters in New York. Nick, we understand that the UN Security Council held a session earlier today following that vote to nominate Antonio Guterres for the Secretary General's position. What more do we know? What can you tell us? That's right, Beatrice. That vote taking place just a couple of hours ago, but it was really just a formality. We knew on Wednesday that the council unanimously supported Antonio Guterres. He was the person that they had chosen. So this was a way to rubber stamp that decision. Uh, it was a vote that was taking place uh, behind closed doors in secret, but there was some video that came out afterwards showing the whole of the Security Council chamber, all 15 countries and all of the ambassadors, the diplomats and their staff applauding after that vote had taken place. It seems that they are very happy with the decision that they have made. Uh, now, overall, we know that uh, he is a seasoned politician. He has a lot of experience uh, around the world, not just during his time as Prime Minister of Portugal, but also his 10 years in charge of the UN Refugee Agency. So being a seasoned politician and an established member of UN staff, it seems that many people felt that he was the most favourable and experienced candidate to take up the job. Well, Nick, a unanimous vote there. So what happens now? Do we know when Guterres will assume office? Well, we know that from here, this will be passed on to the UN General Assembly. It's a chance for all 193 countries to formally vote on Guterres, whether they think that he should run the United Nations. And that in itself is also another rubber stamping moment. It doesn't seem that he will not be approved by the General Assembly. There may be some countries that abstain or vote against him, perhaps uh, some of the countries who had uh, a candidate of their own in the running or some of the countries who felt that for the first time the next Secretary General should be a woman. Uh, however, it is a rubber stamping moment and then it will be a case of him assuming office on January the 1st next year. That will be the day that Ban Ki-moon leaves after 10 years at the top and Antonio Guterres steps into his shoes and as we heard a few moments ago he already realizes that there are some significant challenges that he will have to face he talked about those huge challenges the terrible complexity of the modern world of course many of those problems taking place on the African continent he's spoken in the past about the need to try and find a peaceful solution to the conflict in South Sudan but also to actively address uh, those allegations and charges that have been made against UN peacekeepers of sexual abuse in countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo. So it's a big job and he'll be taking over on January the 1st. Right, Nick Harper at the UN headquarters in New York.